Venezuela. No three will do for now. It's a Marule signature tattoo. Ah! <laughs> oh no, um, yeah, I got a snitch. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen over here. And then <laughs> her fashion steez and then and her DJ skills. Those three things stand out for me. And the coolest thing about Kulani is he's just cool. Like everything about him, like the way he carries himself. Um so clothing looks really good on him. Um, but also his knowledge when it comes to music and art, for me, is everything. Um, the fact that I'm just always learning from him and that he makes me laugh. Yeah, those are like the coolest things about him. I remember you telling me about that telemarketing sales thing that you did for like two hours. <laughs> that didn't work out. Yeah. And this guy gave you a pep talk yeah, about yeah. greatness and, and, and. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. I think was pretty lame. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But it's a good story, though. Know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't... Well, I had another job at Telcom. I can't tell you what the <laughs> hell we were doing there. I was like, I was like, you told me about that. Oh, but it's Toadie, totally, no? totally worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But same. all I remember, we were following this guy around, and I think they were, they were, they were doing a maintenance job or like <laughs> doing some renovations in that building. But whoever our supervisor was was corrupt because that money would follow him around, and then he'd go, "Listen, around twelve, we're knocking off." But I don't remember doing any work. I remember him taking <laughs> some measurements. And I remember getting a paycheck every Friday. But I can't tell you... That sounds you, like such a cool job. I can't tell you what the hell we did there. But we got the job. I think it was around 01. It's the only job I worked. Never been fired. I don't remember being hired. I don't remember anyone saying... I don't remember how we got the job. But yeah, I remember getting paid every Friday to do <laughs> absolutely nothing. Uh, Lamise's first gig, she told me about a couple, but one... I mean, was that one of your first gigs where you couldn't play Gadi 100? <laughs> yeah, in Alex. In Alex, eh? Mm. I and, just started DJing. And, yeah. and um, so I, I learned how to DJ on Pioneer 200s. And so that's the kind of equipment, the kind of CDJs. Mm. And I got to this gig in Alex with my parents because they'd take me to all my gigs. And these people had Pioneer 100. And those are like ancient. Mm. So I freaked out and... Mm. Um, and your dad, your dad. I don't know how to play on them. And my dad was just like, we didn't come all this way for nothing. Like you're gonna go there and you're gonna figure it out. Mm. And I mean, the first song was a mess, like mixing the first two songs. And thereafter, you know, I figured it out. And I played my full set, everyone was dancing. My dad was super impressed. And yeah, that's like a really special story. What's up everybody? My name is Kuli Chana, your tattooed life. <laughs> Kuli Chana, your Motok originator. And this is my one man, Lamiz Holworthy. Yeah? I thought you were gonna say. You don't say the whole thing. Oh. Hello everyone, this is Lamise Holworthy, your tattooed lady for the babies. And we're super excited to grace the cover of Careers Magazine. Fab uh, issue. February issue, go out, go get your copies. A little birdie told me that it's selling out like super fast. Yeah, yeah go out and get it <laughs> while it's still hot. Peace. Peace.